What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see the Hellcat is finally home. It's sitting right here behind me and we finally got to put our trailer that we built to use. If you guys seen a few videos back we converted our old wood deck trailer into a full steel deck with a nice rock like wind guard thing on the front that we made. Came out super nice. We painted it and everything. If you guys didn't see that video go back and make sure to check it out. There's two videos on it. When we did the rock shield and then when we actually converted the trailer painted the wheels up real nice the trailer came out great super happy with it but when we got that trailer we didn't have this car home so we couldn't check really to see like fitment wise getting the car on and off and even if we did it wouldn't have really mattered in the long run anyways because now the car is on coilovers it sits a lot lower than it did so that has kind of proven to be a problem the trailer is super low and i haven't had any issues with any other car but this car is a pretty long car and it's pretty low so we have been having issues getting it up onto the trailer the front lip hits and then also once you get it up when it's trying to crown the uh the point there at the top of the trailer where the dovetail is the exhaust tries to hit so we've had to come up with some ways that we can block it to make it get onto the trailer easier so today I'm going to show you guys some little tips and tricks that we use to get this car on and off the trailer. If you guys are already, please think about subscribing and ringing the bell. It'll keep you guys up to date anytime we put out a video with the GTO, the Duramax, or the Hellcat. Let's jump right into today's video. Alright guys, so you can see the issue we have, that's issue number one, and then the second issue we have is even once we overcome that, we hit right up here, you can see the marks from the exhaust hitting, now usually I would crank this jack up with like a, a 6 by under it to try to bring the angle of the trailer up, but it can only go up so high because it's not strong enough to lift the truck off the ground. So that's basically our limit. And it's still not enough for the bumper to clear the ramp. So then we end up using boards and it's just a, a big mess. So I'm gonna show you guys what we made to make this a lot easier. Just grab a couple pieces and go. So let's get that set up and we will show you guys what we've got. All right guys, so here's the trailer that we built that I was mentioning before that you can see the whole build series on the channel. But this is pretty much the layout of it. And it's a pretty low trailer in the back and we've got a nice little dovetail on it, but we were still having clearance issues like I had mentioned. So we're gonna try to basically use wood to extend the ramps that go right here. And then we're also gonna make something for the truck, which I will show you guys in a few minutes. But the first step is we need to measure our ramps and see how wide they are so we know what size boards we need to go get at Home Depot. So we're gonna go ahead and slide these ramps out real quick. I'm gonna measure them up and then we will go get some boards at Home Depot, come back and we will start building these things. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So you can see here, I got the ramp slid out a little bit. The width that we want to know is how wide our boards are going to be right here. So I'm going to say we could probably get away with going with like a 12 inch uh, wide, so like a 2 by 12 or something. Ideally, I'd like to do like a 2 by 16, but I don't think we're going to find anything like that locally. So we're going to have to settle with like a 2 by 12. So let's go ahead and go get some lumber and then we'll come back and start building this thing all right guys so we found us some of the cheapest 2 by 12 boards we could find right here they are pressure treated dug through got ourselves two decent ones so i think we're going to go with these and when we get back to the house i'll show you how we're going to cut them up to use them 
and uh, I think we might also put a coat of uh, protection on these things. So let's head on back to the house. All right, guys. So as you've seen, we picked out some boards here. We ended up going with the uh, two by twelve by eight. So we're gonna take one of these boards and basically cut it right in the middle. We're gonna put 45s on each end of the two four foot boards so that we can use under the ramp of the trailer itself. We'll put it right at the end of the ramp and uh, we can put the ramp basically up on the end of the board and then the board will extend out. So you, when you pull up with the car, it'll bump up onto the ramp and then, or up onto the wood and then up onto the ramp, which will help give us the little bit of clearance that we need for the front lip. And then with this other board over here, we're gonna end up cutting that one into the smaller sections that we can put under the inner dually uh, tires of the truck to help bump the truck up. So we're gonna cut those to, I believe we're gonna go right around two feet and um, we'll put 45s on those as well. And then we'll end up screwing them together nicely so that we can just basically grab the two long ones and the two shorter ones throw them in the truck and go whenever we need the trailer, pull them out, throw the two that we stack under the tire, drive right up on it, and then have the ramps in the back, crank the jack up a little bit if we have to, and we should be good to go. So we're gonna get set up here, gonna use our little uh, circular saw here and cut some of these boards down. All right, guys, so we've got our first 45s cut here. Um, I think that'll work just fine for what we're doing. So now we're going to go ahead and start measuring, and we'll make our short boards. And then that one, we're just going to find the middle of it and do a 45 there. So we're going to do some measuring, and then we'll show you what we come up with. All right, guys, so now we're going to cut our middle one. We had to flip the board around so that our angles are going the same way. And then we'll end up with this one and just have to do a cut there, and we will be good. All right guys, so we've got the two uh, longer ramps for under the ramp of the trailer. We're gonna end up putting that ramp down right on one of the ends. And then we made angle cuts on both sides so that it doesn't matter which way you have it, it's still angled. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, it makes a huge difference. Honestly, the car will climb right over it, but we wanted it to be as nice as we can make it. So we got these two made. Now we're gonna measure and start making the ones that we're gonna put under the tire of the truck. So I think what we're gonna do, at least what we're figuring right now, is we're gonna cut these at two feet. So we're gonna do a two foot for the bottom, so one two foot section for each side. And then we're gonna go ahead and take what's left of this board and make a piece that's gonna be stepped back just a little bit. And uh, we'll do the angle cut on both the upper and lower piece so that the truck can drive right up onto it. So. That's what we're gonna work on now, and uh, we'll get this thing taken care of. All right, those are our two last boards right here. We were just putting them up to each other to see how close we were, and we got them pretty dang close. All right, guys, so we've got all of our boards cut now. Um, ignore this one, that one's just so I don't drill into my tailgate. But these are the two that we're gonna use. And as you, as you guys can see, we've got the long one on the bottom, short one on top, and I'm gonna offset this top one in about an inch on each side. And we're gonna put four screws in this to hold it to the bottom one so that 
like I said, when we're ready to go with the trailer, all you got to do is grab this as a combined unit and you are good to go. So we're going to mark this up real quick. I'm going to drill a couple holes and throw some screws in it. All right, guys. So we've got all of our pieces made. We got them laid out here. Everything came out really good. I'm really happy with these, how they step up and everything. I'll show you how they're going to look in front of the tire real quick. Slap them on the ground and then you can just, boom. Now all you gotta do is you throw one on the other side to match that, drive the truck right up on it and it's gonna raise the back of our truck up, lower the back of the trailer and we'll be good to go. Use those longer ones we made under the ramps of the trailer itself. And it should be a pretty quick, easy, uh, set up to use to get this thing on and off the trailer a lot quicker and easier We will go ahead and get the car and the trailer pulled up here probably do it in the morning It's starting to get a little late now But we'll get the car and stuff pulled out and we will give this a try tomorrow morning And I will show you guys how that looks and how it all works out You'll be able to see how it changes the angle of our trailer um, I might do it in like time lapse so you guys can see how the angle of the trailer changes and how it helps and affects loading the car so i'm gonna go ahead and grab these boards throw them inside for the night and we will call it a day and we will get back with you guys tomorrow morning when we try these things out All right guys, so we got it up there. As you've seen, it did not hit. It's definitely on a pretty steep angle right now, um, which is what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted the ramps basically as flat as possible. Um, the weight of the car being so heavy when it comes up on the back, it sinks the trailer down and I think that actually helps us some too. You can see the trucks all jacked way up because of our block set up in the jack there. So I think all in all, this worked out really well. Uh, not sure if you guys could see in the video there on how close it actually is. It's still pretty close, but now uh, I'm comfortable where, with where it is. So I think we're just gonna run with these. We will probably bring an extra board or two just to be safe usually. But for the most part, I think this is a way easier way than we were doing before with just grabbing a whole bunch of scrap boards. I'm into the boards for maybe like 35 bucks. So can't really be mad there. I think it worked out really good. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below of what you guys think of this setup. If you guys have any better ideas, I'd love to hear it. Also, ring that bell so that you get notified anytime that we put out a video with the GTO, the Duramax, or the Hellcat. And we will catch you on the next one.